Hey gents, today we're going to talk drivers, driving mocks, driving slippers, driving loafers, whatever you want to call them. This is the venerable Todd's mocks, which there are two great videos you could check out on Todd's mocks, one from Gentleman's Gazette, Raphael did one on are they worth it, as did Brian Sakawa over He Spoke Style. And both of them basically came to the conclusion that they're not really worth it. So I have some alternative suggestions for you that we're going to talk about today. So I'll link to all this stuff below if you want to pick up some Todd's mocks. They have them at Nordstrom, $525. But I want to break down what makes a Todd's mock a Todd's and then kind of back into what can you look for out there uh, in this space because there's some really nice alternatives. Seems like almost every company makes some kind of driver and so this is by no way a complete roundup. I just want to give some suggestions that I found as I was looking for alternatives to this because 525, you could buy three pairs of one of the really nice ones uh, that we'll talk about today. And so I will link to everything down below and let's get into the alternatives from Todd's Mox. First, we can talk about what is driver and what is its purpose. It's really a casual shoe that's not meant to be walked on a lot. It's meant to be like a slipper. Uh, you can wear them when you drive. It's not meant to be something that you go out and you, know, you walk through the city with and everything. It's really meant to be a low mileage type of thing that's extremely comfortable, lightweight, and easy to slip on. What makes a Todd's mock is the iconic design. You also have the Todd's logo right here. And this is a quintessential luxury brand. It's just not as well known as a Rolex or a Louis Vuitton or any of these other luxury brands, but Todd's is a luxury brand. You're paying a premium for a product that has a really historic name behind it that is known for quality. Uh, so the fact that you're using Italian materials made in Italy is a big part of what can help drive the cost and continue to drive that, plus their signature silhouette and their materials. Now, when you basically to distill down the videos uh, out there about Todd's mocks is that they don't really last that long, especially that much longer than a driver. A driver, you know, the way that the material is set on the bottom, it's stitched and everything else, it's like, it'll wear out pretty quickly. And so you have to replace them every few years. And that's not a big deal for somebody that can just drop $525 on a shoe. But if you're looking to get a little more bang for your buck, let's take a look at the options I pulled together today and help you get a little bit more for that. So the first thing that I would look out for as you're looking for a Todd's Mox alternative, and I talked about this in my like cheap versus expensive shoes thing, is you want to look for something that is not going to retain smell. And the easiest way to do that is to get something that is leather lined. One of the things that I know from having Clarks in the past, whether it's their desert boot and, and some of their, their, their shoes, but they have a driver, but it has ortholite in the bottom. And ortholite is made as a th synthetic material to help absorb moisture and be a little more comfortable. But having synthetic materials ultimately will lead to some sort of smell retention. And leather is naturally moisture absorbent. You put a shoe tree in here, this will not retain stink, which is why you can wear these so easily without socks. I never wear my drivers with socks. I think it's kind of, it feels weird. Like it just feels wrong. But like these are the M. Jemmy ones and they are extremely comfortable. They form to your foot over time because of the leather and they also don't retain a smell. And the other thing about the M. Jemmy while we're here, this is probably the closest alternative to a Todd's Mox that I can find because it hits the hallmarks of it. So it has your leather lining. It has a, you know, the sleek and nice silhouette. This is the suede one, but I've, the, you know, the leather that M. Jemmy uses on their shoes is extremely good as well. Made in Italy, so it hits that mark. And this comes in at 198, so you can literally get two and a half of these for one of Todd's mocks. So it has that hand sewn upper, really nice lightweight. So the M. Jemmy ones are probably the closest that I can get to a Todd's mock at less than half the price. The other closest is this one from Bobby's. And Bobby's is a French brand that's not really known uh, as well in the States. I think there's enthusiasts that really know them. But this is to me is the closest like toe shape and construction of the Todd's Mox. What also helps is these are made of an Italian leather but in Portugal. So they have the really nice raw materials in Portugal. They also have the stamp right here on the like tongue of the shoe, which like if you wanna get mistaken for having Todd's. This is probably the closest that you can get because it has that stamp on there. Uh, but again, Italian leather, but made in Brazil. Now we have a few others to take a look at as I was trying to kind of round out the price points. We go down to 135 and that's this Jack Irwin shoe here. Jack Irwin I unboxed a while ago. It's you know one of these D2C brands that really started up. This is also made in Portugal, but it is made, they do not specify the leather and you can feel it 
just in the leather quality material that they're using here. So you're getting it made in Portugal construction. The leather's not quite as nice and it's a little bit more clunky of a silhouette. It's a very subtle difference, but it's a little bit more clunky than the M Jemmy or the Bobbies. And it's like you can see as you go down in price. However, they do hit the requirement, if you would call it, of the leather lining in the interior. So you don't have to wear socks and they're gonna be comfortable and breathable, moisture wicking and everything. And so that is a Jack Irwin one. Then these ones will retail at 115. These are from the Nordstrom Men's Shop. And as you go down in that price, you go down in quality. So the leather isn't quite is nice and supple. It is made in Brazil and they also have a slightly different design on the bottom. So if you're looking for some more tread, I actually really like the, the dot design of the tread on the other drivers, you know, like the Todd's and the M Jemmy. Uh, but this one has a little bit more substantial tread to it, which could last longer in the long run, but it also does have that leather lining. And these are from 1901. These come in at $89 and you can feel it in here. Now, if you're looking for a lightweight, dis basically disposable shoe that'll last you a year, two years with frequent wear, then you can go for the $89 shoe. That's not a big deal. This one is like the, the most clunky, I would say out of all of them. It does have the same, has the same similar shape, but I think it's just like the leather and the material. I'm extremely confident that in a blind test, I could tell you like, you know, this is uh, lowest to highest tier. Where that tipping point is though, and that's what I'm always obsessed with finding is what is the tipping point where you're getting luxury quality goods, but without the luxury markup. And that's where I think that 198 M Jemmy sits where you're getting made in Italy, Italian leather, all of the hallmarks of the Todd's, but at half of the price. And Bobby's is very close. Bobby's uses really nice raw materials in the construction uh, made in Portugal, however. So if you do not have a driver, I think it is worth looking into. Definitely look into M. Jemmy and each of the other brands. The driver is really like, you know, you could get a boat shoe or you could get a sneaker or you could get a driver. It's like if you want to step up your shoe game, ditch the the Vans and the uh, the Converse and grab like a sweet looking driver and it's just gonna look a little bit sleeker. It's like, it's more of like an adult shoe. It's, you know, I think we're beyond the point where loafers are old men's shoes. Loafers, I think are having a moment right now and I'm, I'm really in for it. Uh, but the drivers, I think, is a, is a really nice way to bridge that gap between something that's casual, uh, but still extremely comfortable and lightweight all year round. I, it's spring, it's a spring summer shoe really. You should wear boots in the winter, but we'll talk about boots in another video. So let me know what you think guys. Do you like drivers? I wanna know if you have any and what your favorite brands are. I'd love to know down below. You can also reach out at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram. Love to hear from you guys over there. I'll put links to everything down below so you can check them out. I'd love to hear from you guys as always. Until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier.